everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your cardio and arms hit workout. So in this workout, we are gonna work all through the upper body, arms, back, a little bit of core, using one set of dumbbells, and then we will circuit that with some cardio intervals to really blast fat and burn calories. All you need for this workout is a set of dumbbells and a mat and a little bit of space to move. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start with just a quick little warm up. Let's march it out, roll through those shoulders. So as we talked about, we are going to be doing circuits of upper body and then circuits of cardio, but rolling forward with the cardio circuits, they are going to mimic a lot of the upper body moves that we're doing and also get your arms working too. So the whole thing, big deep breath in and out is going to be a lot for your upper body and also a lot for your heart rate to blast fat and burn calories. Let's take it out right here, roll through your back. So take it flat down and round it up. Breathe, flat down and round it up. There we go, flat and up. So each move, we're gonna do 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, and we'll tie in some breaks in between four more four, up, three, last two, one more right here, all the way up, tap and reach across. So we will start with those dumbbells. I'm gonna be using a set of eights. Just go and get a little lighter. I am still getting back into it after having my second baby, still getting that strength back, but I'm getting there. So I'm going a little lighter. You use what's best for you. And if you have a couple sets hanging around, always a good idea. I'm gonna show you some options if you have only one set, if you need to make things between one dumbbell a little different, and then just little rotations through your torso. Make sure you're turning in your knees and your hips. And then knees up right here. So a lot of your sort of traditional upper body moves, and then again, we're going to put those without the dumbbells into some cardio moves. So keep it here, breathe, and then just stretch out those legs. Little toy soldier kicks, really great to warm up through those hamstrings and back of the legs. Breathe. Okay, so tap it out. So your very first move, we're gonna grab those dumbbells. Make sure you bend your knees to get them when we're bringing them down, putting them down or bringing them up. We're going to start with your row. We're gonna go flat back. We're gonna go one row in, one row out. So it looks like this from the side. Knees are soft and bent, hinge at the hips, one row in, one row out. So 45 seconds is a long time. If you need a little break for your back, just bring it up. And then we will go right into a cardio move after that that I'll explain in those 15 seconds in between. Okay, are you ready? So roll those shoulders, flat back, here we go. One in, one out. One in, one out. So really focus on squeezing in the shoulder blades. In, out. If you need to alternate, if it's feeling too much, one, on each side, other on each side. That works too. Up and out, up and out, or together. We got 15 seconds. Squeeze. Here we go. Last five, four, three, two, and relax. So drop them down, bend your knees, and then watch me here. We're just going to do some tap backs while we squeeze in those shoulders. So a little bit higher. You don't have to be hinged all the way. We're starting with this. Join me when you're ready. Here we go. Squeeze. If you want a little higher impact option, you can do a little jump. Squeeze. Halfway through. We're gonna take it a little wider. Here we go, breathe. And that would be right about now. So taps. Again, a little higher, we're not bent down all the way. You can jump it if you want. 
10 seconds to go. Breathe. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, so roll through those shoulders. So this time we're gonna go very basic bicep curl, bend those knees, same idea. One in, one out, okay? Roll those shoulders, catch your breath. Ready, here we go. Up and out, up and out. If you want, you can do one side, up and out, and then the other. It's up to you. That gives you options. We're about halfway through. Breathe, hopefully your heart is still pumping. That's why it's called HIIT training. High intensity interval. This is feeling like a lot for me. So I'm gonna alternate and breathe. And up, 10 seconds. Controlled, you can go whatever speed you want as long as you have good form. Last one, right here. Bend your knees to drop them down. I'm sorry, I keep harping on that, but so let's take it, knee raises, pull it up. Just like this, again, working those biceps. Join me when you're ready. If you want a high impact option, it's a little tougher or a little bit of a jump. Here we go. Knees, squeeze it in. And again, at the halfway point, we'll take them out. Breathe, good, up. Higher impact, add that jump. Let's take them out to the side, up. Or if you're really feeling ambitious, that's hard to maintain, right? Squeeze in those thighs and breathe. We got five, four, three, two, and tap. Roll those shoulders. There you go. Catch your breath. Okay, so very next move, we're gonna grab one dumbbell and we're gonna take it over our head into tries. Here we go, behind and up and down and up. Behind, up, down. Join me here. Squeeze, if this feels too easy, grab your second dumbbell. Up, over, and down, up. Breathe, up, yes. Back of the arms and shoulders. There we go. Yes. Last five. Up, and relax. Okay, so tap it out. We're gonna take it over our head and we're gonna go up, side, behind the head, side. So we're going side knees for obliques, behind the head, all of it, keep your heart rate up. Behind, behind. You can do a little jump behind. I know some of these moves feel kind of silly, but you feel those arms, right? And you feel, feel that heart rate behind. There you go. Squeeze. Squeeze. Good. 15 seconds. Breathe. Last four. Three. Two. And tap it out. Roll those shoulders. Okay, guys. So we had four arms, four cardio. This last one is going to be arms and cardio together. Watch me here, then join in. You're gonna walk it all the way out on those hands. If you can, stay up, down, down, up, up, and then walk it back. Join me here. If you want, when you get here, you can drop to those knees, down, down, up, up, pop it up, and walk it back. If that feels like still like too much, you can walk it up the wall, walk it down, 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 up, up. Whichever one works for you. This is going fast. Take it out, down, down, up, up. Walk it back. 
I think we got time for one more. You can do it. Take it out. Down, down, up, up. One more. Here we go. Finish it out. And walk it back. Okay, so catch your breath. We're gonna jog it out for about 30 seconds. While we catch our breath, you can jog it or tap it, grab a sip of water, and then we're gonna do all of those again, right? Let's see if we can remember them. Starting with our back and our shoulders, then we're gonna take it to biceps both ways, then we're gonna take it to tries and shoulders, and then we'll take it to chest, right? Okay, so catch your breath. You get about 10 more seconds, jog it out, tap it out, and we're gonna grab those dumbbells again, starting with our back. So breathe, here we go. One in, one out. Squeeze, so even though we're tired, really check in with that posture. Remember, we're gonna hinge at the hips. In and out, in and out. Here we go, up, strong. If you need a little break for your back, just come up out of it, drop it back down. Or you can do one side, squeeze one side. Up, out, we got 10 seconds. Four, three, two, last one. And breathe. Bend your knees to drop them down. I know it's a lot of putting them down, picking them up. And remember, we're gonna tap it back. You can tap it back or run it back. Halfway through, we'll switch our arms. Tap, tap, squeeze in those back muscles. Tap, tap, right? There we go. Good. Nice job, team. Really squeeze, pulling those shoulder blades in. You can keep it just a little tap or a little more of a jog. Let's take it wide, a little higher. Taps, low impact or higher. Good, 10 seconds, right? Feel that heart rate, feel the arms and back. Four, three, two, relax. Roll those shoulders, we're gonna grab it in, grab those dumbbells. We used to get them, sneak in on the squat every time we do that, right? One and out. Roll those shoulders, catch your breath, heart rates up. Ready, here we go. Up and out. Up and out. Here we go. And out. Right. Squeeze. Up. Out. If you need to alternate, which I might need to, they're feeling a little heavy to me. One side, do both. Other side, do both. Or you can always do right and left, then switch it out right and left. Let's go four, three, two, one more. And relax, drop them down. Get ready for those knee raises. Looks like this. Coming up, you can jump it if you want. Halfway through, we'll take it to the outside. Here we go. Up. So a little higher impact is here. Good, if you really are feeling it, it's here. Up, up. Any of those options will do. We just want to keep the heart pumping, right? Up, let's switch it to the side. Yes. And breathe, 10 seconds to go. Four, three, two, and one. Tap it out. All right, what do we got? One dumbbell. Press it up behind the head if it feels too easy. Two dumbbells, press it up behind the head, and then we're gonna get our side knees. Okay, here we go. Bend your knees to get it. One foot back, up, 
up, behind, up, and down. Up, behind, and down. Pull that core in tight. Make sure you're not arching your back. That's why I have one foot forward so I don't lean. Sometimes when we're here, we can lean into it. We don't want to do that. Up. Good. Shoulders, tries, and back. Shoulders. Breathe. Yes, 10 seconds to go. Here we go. Four, three, two, relax. Drop that down. And then remember this. We're gonna go behind the head, side knee. Behind the head, side knee. Relax those shoulders for five seconds. Get ready. Here we go. Behind, side, behind, breathe, squeeze. You can even make fists with those hands. Higher impact, pull it up. Pull, core, breathe. Yes. Halfway there. How are those tries feeling? I know I feel it. Breathe. 15 seconds. Last four, three, two, one, and relax. Woo, right? Shake those out. Ha, ha, ha. I know I feel that. I hope you do too. All right, guys, last move up top. We're going to walk it out on our hands. Down on the elbows, up on the hands. Walk it back. You can take it to knees. You can walk it up and down the wall. Down, down, up, up. It's up to you. Here we go. Time's already started. We'll go a little longer. Down, down, up, up. Walk it back. Strong core. Here we go. Knees if you want to here. Down, down, up, up. Take it up. All the way up. Breathe. Walk it out. Down, down, up, up. Yes. We are almost done with this workout. We got a couple things on the mat. Walk it back. Here we go, breathe. Down, down, up, up. How about we get one more. Walk it out. Down, down, up, up. Walk it back. Woo! All right, nice work team. I want you to grab a quick sip of water. We're gonna have about a 30 second rest and then we are going to take it down to our mat. So breathe into it. Let's go ahead and come down on to your mat. Grab those dumbbells, come down onto your back. We'll get a little longer. All the way down, here's what we're gonna do, guys. Close grip press. I know we just worked the back, or worked the chest and shoulders. Up, tries, and then bring it down. So, if you want, bring those feet up to add a little bit of core. If you wanna keep it down, that is fine too. We're starting in about 10 seconds. Right after that, we're just gonna do a little bit of core, a little toe taps, or a little bicycle toe taps. Ready, here we go. Up, over, up, and down. Feet up, up, over, and breathe. We're in the home stretch, almost done with this whole workout. So chest, shoulders, and a lot of tries back of the arms. Up, over, pull that core in tight. We got a neutral spine, we're not sucking in, but we're just keeping it in that tabletop. Over, halfway there. I know arms are tired. Breathe. 10 seconds to go. Four, three, two. I don't know about you, but mine are tired. Woo! All right, so watch me here. You can just do those basic toe taps. Those might be good, especially if you are still kind of in the postpartum period like me, right? Or with those arms, dead bug. 
not a bicycle, dead bug. So join me when you're ready, breathe. So not really cardio, I know, but I thought I would sneak in a little bit of core. Don't worry, we got a little bit more cardio coming. And breathe. If you're feeling really ambitious, take it out to that full dead bug. Up to you. Breathe. I love the dead bug, it's so functional. To work that deep, deep core. Breathe. 10 seconds, you can just be here too. Last four, three, two, relax. Go ahead and turn it over, guys. On to all fours. So up to you. Here we go. We're gonna go one up, one curl. Other side, row, curl. You can be knees, you can be knees, you can be all the way up, but I promise you, it's hard. Here we go, up and here, row, and curl if you want. Up, up, row, curl, or here. Somewhere in between. Yes, halfway. Yes. Last 15, let's see if I can stay up for it. Pulling my core in. Five to go. One more each way. Yes. Woo, stretch it back. All right, guys. So watch me here. Out and in, up, out and in, up. This is our very last cardio. You can do it. Join me here. Jack, up, jack. If that feels like too much, you can tap it out and in and just do one side or knees. Just tap out with the knees, up and up. Tap out with the knees, up. We're halfway there, finish strong. Jack, row, jack, row. Arms are tired, I know, but you're strong. You can do it 15 seconds, then we're done. Finish it out with that high heart rate. Out, in, five, Four, three, two, one. Yes. Stretch it back into that child's pose. So sit your hips to the back. Reach those arms forward. Big stretch. Woo, I'm sweating, guys. Go ahead and roll back onto your feet and come up halfway. Woo. We'll just roll up slowly. Right. <sighs> roll those shoulders. Quick little stretch from here. Make sure your dumbbells are out of the way. Point those thumbs to the back. So I hope you felt that. I know some of those moves feel kind of silly, reach behind, but the goal is after you just put your muscles in overload with the weight, with the resistance, then you're doing body weight, but you're still feeling that burn, right, of those muscles that were working. And muscles are working in overtime, so your heart's gonna pump, even if you're not jumping or going as fast as you normally would on a basic cardio move, you still are gonna be feeling that because you've just done the strength, right? So that's the idea with that. Just do a little gentle knee pull, up and in. Open up those hips. Lean to one side and the other side. And then one last one. Let's put the thumbs down, fingertips down. Let your head drop to the side. Forearm, shoulder, chest. As always, get more of a cool down and stretch on your own. If you can, take it here. Breathe. One big deep breath in. And out. You did it. That was your cardio and arms hit workout. Great job, everybody.